hey guys welcome back to my channel glad to have you back here yeah like i said in my previous tutorial i said i'm going to drop a video tutorial of this sandal this beautiful and lovely sandal this is the second leg so we'll be making the sandal today and i'll be making it in these three colors white brown and this deep pink so like i'll be using this this yarn yeah yeah it's a thin yarn and i'll be using one strand um let's get started to the the part the materials i'll be using like i said i'll be using these three colors just a little bit of these two colors i'll be using majorly this white and 1.5 1.5 mm hook 1.5 mm hook my camera is kind of taking time yeah i'll be using this small bead as my if you have a small button you can go ahead and use that but i'll be using this i think size 8 i think this is size 8 size 8 button i'll be using a tapestry needle because we'll be sewing this end together to the sole i'll be needing a pen if you have an inv this invisible pen that you can easily that won't leave marks on your work if you have it you can go ahead and use it but this is what i have and this is what i'll be using i'll be using this multi-purpose gum if you have hot glue any gum you can use please go ahead and use it um scissors and yeah one thing for the sundial you can see that it has this feeling inside the solid thing inside for it to give the sandal more shape can you see give it this very good shape so what i use i use this foam sheet it's called foam sheet here it is yeah i've used it so this is where i've got so i'll be using this to to achieve this hardness and i'll be using this the softer one to cover it so i'm going to show you how i'm going to use everything don't worry um what else are we going to be needing? I think that's all for now. So let us get started to the tutorial. Yeah, so this is the sole I'll be using for the sandal. Um, I'll leave the the link to the video of this sole in the description box. Um, I did a video on it separately and how to make the sole. So go ahead and check it out. So you'll be needing four pieces. Because we'll be joining two together for one leg. So for the two legs, we'll be needing four pieces in total. So this is where our foam sheet comes in. This is my foam sheet. So we are going to trace out the sole. We are not going to, this is the right side. We are not going to place the right side like this. We are going to turn it over and trace it out. So go ahead and trace out your work. Yeah, so I traced out my sole. So this is what I have here. I am making this size is for size six months above. So if you are doing for zero to three months, you will see the size chart in the sole tutorial. So you are going to like this one is for zero to three months. You can size up to four months. You can see it's quite small. Look at this sole. Look at this. You can see that it's quite different. The difference is, is clear. So we want to achieve, if not the perfect size, something close to perfect size. So that's why we are following the measurements. This this measures around 10.5. Yeah, that was the measurement. So we are going to cut this out. That's where our scissors comes in. So this is what it looks like after cutting it out. You can actually improvise this day with shoe filler. Yeah, there are these shoe fillers that comes in in different sizes for babies. In case you're able to get it, please go ahead and use it. But I was unable to get that. So this is what I could get. You can get it in any craft store around you. So you can see it's quite wild. We can't use it with this. So this is what we'll be doing. We'll get our pen again. We are going to trace out. We'll be tracing out. We'll just be leaving some like a little space in between. So something like this. We're going to trace it out just to give it just to make the sole the the um what's it called again? To make this oh to make this smaller. To make the distance to make it smaller the foam sheet god <laughs> i forgot that 
So to make the foam sheet frame, to make it a little bit smaller so that it can go inside, you know, it's quite bigger. It's quite big for the sole. So we're trying to make it smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace it out like this. It's not something difficult. You're just going to follow the shape. You're going to follow the line. Just leave small, small pieces so that we can have a smaller size. Don't go and make it too small. We just You just want to reduce it a bit. So... I'm almost done here so I'll go ahead finish it out and cut it yeah so this is what it looks like before cutting so I just want to show you what it looks like so you can see I just trim it out a little so that I can cut those this small space I can cut that off I can make it a little bit smaller so that it can enter so that it can enter the sole yeah so this is what I have after cutting it so you can see it's smaller yeah our soul can cover it so you can see what we're able to achieve so this is what i cut off so this is what we'll be using so you'll be making you'll be cutting out two of this so this is where our gum comes in i'm going to apply gum on the surface like this all around just like that then yeah i think i did enough so this is where the softer one that i showed you when i was showing you the materials yeah this one so that's where it comes in actually the it's actually common in the market you can easily get this but fashion designers they use it i think they call it stay they put it inside clothes to make it a little bit hard so i'll be using it to cover the surface like this and I'll trim it out. Ta da! So, my insole is ready. You can see this place is quite rough. And we have a smoother one. So, this one will be at the top where we place our work to make it smooth. So, that's why we covered it with that. So, the insole is ready. We are going to put that aside. This is the two soles I'll be joining together. I'm going to put that aside also. So, we are going to be making the, the braids we'll be joining together. The strands we are going to make them now. Welcome back, guys. So, my 1.5 mm hook, don't forget, is the same hook that I use for the sole, is what we'll be using for the body of the sandal. So, we are making the pieces that we are going to join together, that we're going to braid together for the upper part. So, I'll be making a slip knot, just like that. Then, I'll be chaining 26. So, we chain 26. We have one, two, So three, four. So go ahead and chain twenty six. So yeah, I have my twenty six chains ready. So on the fourth chain from the hook, we are not counting the loop on the hook. It does not count. So we are going to start here. One, two, three, and four. Right in there, I'm going to make a double crochet. So we are going to make one double crochet inside all the chains inside all the chains one double crochet each so go ahead and make your double crochets yeah so i have my double crochet ready so next i'm going to do i'm going to slip stitch inside this very last double crochet i made i'm going to slip stitch in between the stitch just find the way right there I just made a slip stitch then where i started my slip knot my chain i'm going to make another slip stitch and i'm going to cut my yarn just like that so go ahead and do the same thing for the two other colors i'm going to do the same thing for this brown and for the white yeah this is what my three colors look like funny right <laughs> and after i did my three colors i weaved in the ends so this is what it looks like so let's join this together please make sure you are working on the right side this is the right side and this is the wrong side so make sure you are joining the right sides together so you're going to be picking up your main color my main color is white so i'm going to make a slip knot so i'm going to pick up my my main my main color which is white so right on the side trying to fix in my hook 
and I will join my yarn and chain one right there. So I'm going to make I'll just try and fix two single crochets at this at the edge at the side. I'm just trying to I'll try and fix two single crochets here. So just try and find anywhere your hook can enter, just try and make two single crochets. That's the first one. And by the end here, I'm going to make the I'm going to make the second color. Sorry, I made the second single crochet. So we are going to add the next color to it. And the next color I'll be picking is color. My second color, I'll be picking this color pink. You can arrange it the way you want. So on this side, I'll be... Remember, we, we did two single crochets here. So on this side, I'll be making three single crochets. Make sure you are working on the right side. So just start fixing your hook. So that's the first one for me. I have my second single crochet and the third one I'll make it by this edge. Okay. So I have the third one. So I'm going to pick up my last color, which is the brown. So I'm going to make two. Yeah. Remember we made two, three, so I'll repeat the same thing, two, yeah. So we have... Let's see trying to put my oak somewhere around here so I have one then I have two so in total we have seven in total we have seven single crochets we have two we have three that's five and we have two making seven so like that I'm going to chain one and cut but before you cut make sure you leave a long tail because this is the tail we are going to use to attach to the sole so not too long though but we'll leave a long tail so I just cut that and I'll pull my yarn out. So right now I'm going to braid these pieces together. So the white one we go first, we go right in the middle while the pink comes to the side. The brown we go underneath the white. Just like the normal braid, just try and braid it together. So you can see what I'm doing. My brown we go underneath. At the side we go underneath. I have this. So, this is what I have. Can you see? It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> so, we are going to join the second end together. So, I'm going to pick my yarn. So, I'm going to pick my yarn. And try not to lose the... So, trying so much not to let this lose. So, I'll try and make my slip knots. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to attach my yarn. Okay, this is kind of tricky. Well, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> yep. No, 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 no. Don't slip off. Don't. Okay. Right there. So... I'll chain one to attach my yarn. So, like we did here, we made two at the edge. So, we are going to repeat the same thing. I want to crochet the end along. So, I have the first single crochet. Now, make the second one right here. That's the second single crochet there. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So, the next one, I'll be working on the white. I'll be making three single crochets like we did on the other side. The middle one we made three, so we're repeating the same thing. I have one, two. I'll be making the last one here. Three. We're working on the last piece, which is the pink. I'll be making two single crochet. So now one and the last one to my around here. So, so we have seven here, we have seven here. So like I did at the side, I'm going to leave it long till not too long, not too short. So cut. Yeah, the braid is ready. Look at that. Oh, I love this color. So pretty. So just try and loosen it up. You can see how the color looks. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so let's move to the next. Just set that aside. We are moving to the next thing. 
which is the soul. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not complicated as it's looking right now. So I'm going to explain how I marked all of this. Sorry, my bad. I forgot to mention when I was talking about the materials we'll be needing. I forgot to mention stitch markers. Pardon me. So this is how I demarcated it. I'm going to find the middle, the very middle stitch. Just following this line up here. And that was how I got my stitch marker in here. So now I'm going to count seven stitches by this by the first side, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll repeat the same thing by this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So at this toll in total, we have 15 stitches. So by this side, I counted eight stitches. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight. I repeated the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is the side we'll be joining our piece that we just braided. So that's where we'll be placing it. So I counted, so this six I counted apart. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I counted six. One, two, three, four, five, then six. So I did the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this remaining part at the back will be the heel of our sandal. This is the toe. This is where we'll be attaching our braids. This is just the space in the middle, just like this. The space in the middle here, that's what we have here. And this back is the heel. This place is the side we'll be attaching our we are touching our braid and the front, the open toes is what is the 15 stitches we left in the front. So the next thing we'll be doing will be attaching our braid. Right now, I'm going to thread my needle, our tapestry needle. So right there. So make sure you are joining the front. This is the wrong part while well, this is the right side. So this is the sole. This is the front, this is the front part, this is the back side. So we are adding to the front part. So we have seven stitches and we marked eight stitches. Why? Because this end, okay, let me join like this. Because this very first stitch, we are going to add it first. This the end, we are going to add it to the very the extra stitch that we left at the sole. So this is how you are going to add your. You know, we are not going to work on the two loops because we when we'll be attaching the second um the second sole. We'll be using this the one loop we'll be leaving behind. That's what we'll be using to attach the two soles together. So let me let me demonstrate what I just explained. So this is the very first one. I'll go inside just like that. Pull in like that. So I pull through the two. You can see what I did, the two loops like that. I'm going into the very first stitch here. Right there. So I pulled out. Now go back through the back loop. So this is the back loop we are leaving behind. When we'll be joining the two soles together, you can see this joining here. That's where the back loop will, be, will come in. That's what we are going to use to join it together. So I'll go to the back like that. So to the next loop, you pick the two together, going to the next stitch like that. Pull up, then go back. Through the same the same loop we came up with, we are going to go back, but we are going through just one loop now, which is the back loop, just like that. Let me do that one more time. Picking the two together, then moving to the next stitch, then you pull up and go back and go through the back loop. Can you see that? Go through that. Then you have this, so go ahead, join this part to this when you are done. Make a knot at the back, cut your yarn, then do the same thing for the second side. I'll show you what my work looks like when I'm done with that. So after joining, this is what my work looks like. So you can see we have those loops left. That's what we are going to use to join with the other. So we have the same thing by this side. So this is what it looks like. So the last part we are doing, which is the heel. We'll be attaching our main color, which is white. Or whatever color you choose to use, I'll make a slip knot. Yeah, so in the first leg you are making, you start your heel from this side. The second leg you'll be making starts from this side because of your straps. The strap you'll be using to 
this very strap that will go around the excuse me that will go around the ankle so i'm going to start the first leg from this side so when you're making your second leg you start from the other side so you will need to be changing stitches or anyhow so you just do the normal stitch the way i'm going to do it just start from different directions so this is what we are going to do we counted six stitches one two three four five six this is the sixth this is the sixth way we marked so into the next one we are going to pick the front loop just like we joined here i'm going to pick the front loop only remember we'll be joining two sews together so it's the remaining loop we'll be using to join the two sews together so i'll put my work my yarn like that so i'm going to chain one then i'll single crochet round so let me show you if i go off camera so that's the first one i'm picking the front loop only i'm working my the end of my yarn along that's the second this is the third we have the fourth so go ahead and work until you get to this to this very side yeah so i've worked my single crochet row so you can see the loops left behind the ears so your work should look like this like something like this so i'm going to remove all the stitch markers because they are not needing them anymore so after that the next two rows we are going to do the same thing we are not chaining one you can see i finished my single crochet i did not chain one so i'm going to turn and work into the very first stitch we are not chaining one so i'll just work my single crochet again i work it back to where i started i'll turn again do not chain one when you are turning i'll turn again then do my single crochet back to this place so after the third row so this is first so we are going to do two more so when we have our three rows completed i'll show you what next to do so don't forget to work into the very last one so i have 27 stitches around the ear oh sorry about that so 27 stitches in total and this is what our work looks like so we are building up the ear so the next thing we'll be doing remember the first three rows we did we did not chain one while turning so on the fourth row we'll be chaining one when we chain one we are going to skip the very first stitch we are going to skip it we're going to the next one like that to make single crochets so you are going to do your single crochets until you have two stitches remaining so right here i have two stitches remaining i have one and two so we are going to skip this one so work into the very last single crochet so we made a reduction we made a reduction at the beginning and at the end so the next row we will not chain one we'll turn we work one single crochet in all stitches so we are going to have 25 stitches because we've reduced two times so you are going to work your first one one two so go ahead and work your single crochets so this is what my work looks like so we are, for the next two we are going to repeat the same thing we did in row four we are going to chain one turn our work skip the very first stitch then we're going to the next one like that so we are going to do the same thing you walk once you have two stitches left, you you are going to skip the second to the last chain, the second to the last stitch rather than you work into the very last stitch, like that. So yeah, the heel side is building up already. We are almost done. So this is what we have. The next row, like we did in row five, yeah, we are not going to chain while we are going to turn our work and work into the very first stitch, like that, and work our single crochets down. We are going to have 23 stitches in total. So this is what my work looks like right now. So the next row we are going to repeat row four. We are going to chain one for the last time. Chain one, turn, skip the very first stitch, then work into the next one. Just like that. So go ahead, work your single crochets round. When you have two stitches left, skip the second to the last stitch, then work your last single crochet in the very last stitch. So we are almost done. We are actually done with the ears. We are just going to make this strap now. That will go around the ankle so we are going to chain 30 one two three so go ahead and chain your 30. if you want a longer strap please go ahead and add more chains but this is okay for me so we are going to skip five stitches five chains so we have one two three four five so into the sixth one yarn over we are going to make a double crochet so this is our button hole 
So I'm going to make double crochet down. When you get to this, to the very last chain here, I'll show you what next to do. So after working my strap, this is what we are going to do. We are going to make a reduction here. So yarn over. We're going to do um, double crochet together. So the very last, the very first single crochet here, I'm going to go inside the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, like that. Then we yarn over again, go into the very next one, yarn over, pull through two. We have three loops on our hook, then we yarn over and pull through four. We just made a reduction. So we are going to double crochet all the way. We are going to double crochet like that. So we are going to double crochet all the way. So on the last two stitches here, you are going to do the reduction we did. You are going to do the same thing here. So here is the last two stitches. Here are they. So I'm going to make the reduction we made here. I'm going to repeat the same thing. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. We have three loops. Yarn over, pull through all. So right here, I'm going to chain one. And then we are going to cut our yarn. Yeah, so... Look at what we have here. As you can see, our sandal is making sense already. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to slip stitch around the heel and the strap. So we are going to start from where we started our work. So even if you are making the second, if you are making the second side, the second leg, you are going to start from this end. You know the first leg we started here, so you are going to start here. So you are going to work here. So your strap is going to fall on this side. So even if you do the second leg, if you are working your slip stitches, you will start from this end. So I'll just go right here, just to give you that perfect edging. So I'm going to pick up my yarn like this. I did not make any slip knots. So I'll just pull out, go into the next row, make a slip stitch like that, go into the next, pull out the loop, then pull through, pull out the loop. Pull through, pull out the loop, pull through. So you are going to do that all round the strap. You go round like this, like this, round, then the heel, then you go down, and that's it. Yeah, so I finished my row. After finishing it, I attached my bead. So if you are going to use button, so go ahead and attach it right here. I attach my bead so this is what my work, work looks like right now and i whipped in all the ends after making the slip stitch right round so i still i whipped in all my hands and this is what my work looks like you can see that we are almost done so what we are just going to do now is attach the two soles together and we are done so this is our insole that we did at the beginning right here so I'm going to pick the color of this yarn, this very pink. That's what I'll be using to go around. You can see what I did here for the blue, so the blue I used to go around. So, right here, I have my yarn. So, we are starting from the back, 1.5 oak. Starting from the back. So, just going to pick the one in the middle. Okay, right there. Then, remember the um, the back loop that we left while we are working? So that's what we are going to be using to join the two soles together. So, this is the second sole. For the second sole, we'll be picking the two loops together. Right there. So, I'm just going to leave a, a long tail that I'm going to use to tie my hands. So right there. So just go ahead and make pick the next one. Then go ahead to the next one at the back. Then make a slip stitch. Like that. So go ahead. Pick the one at the back too. Make a slip stitch. Pick this. Pick the one at the back. Slip stitch. So go ahead. When we get to this side, I'll come and show you how to do that. It's actually the same way, but I'll just come and show you how to do that. Yeah, when you get to this side where we left six stitches, you are going to pick the two loops. You are going to be picking the two loops together. The two at the front and the two at the back, right there. 
so just like that these two and the two at the back now we've gotten to the side you can see we have this back loop so that's what we're picking and the two at the back like that the back loop and the two at the back so go ahead when you make your when you make your slip stitch to the side i'll show you what next to do so this is what my work looks like at the moment i'm on the side already so we are going to pick our insole that we did in the beginning <clears throat> I'm going to put it right inside just like that you know it's here and it's going to stretch just fit it in like that see what i'm doing so make sure your insole is not too short because if it's short it'll just be inside like this it won't fit around like my like mine is doing right now so this is what we have so we are now going to slip stitch along like this so we have one loop here pick the one at the back there's the next stitch at the back just like that slip stitch right there and this so go ahead and slip stitch round to the back. When you get to the back, I'll show you how we are going to finish off. So this is what my work looks like at the moment. So I'm just going to cut and leave it a long tail, not too long. So we are going to make the invisible closing like we did when we made the sole. So I'm just going to cut that. This is my very last slip stitch. I'm not changing one or anything. And we have this. So our tapestry needle comes in. Right there. So I'm going to I'm going to thread my needle. We have that. So from the back, you can remember how we finished the how we finished the sole. We are doing the same thing from the back. You go through the two like that. Then go through this. The back loop of the slip stitch you just finished just like that so you pass your yarn your needle back to where we started from the back like that so this is what we have you can see we just finished the round then the back we have these two strands we are going to tie them off so we are just going to make a knot okay let's tie one more to secure that right there yeah this is the second one so let me thread the two ends together let me cut this i'm going to thread it i'm going to thread my needle i have the two strands so i'm just going to hide it inside i've eaten it inside the so So just like that i'm just going to cut off the excess and yeah tada our beautiful lovely sandal is ready so you can just try and fix it in case the sole is not fitting well and just try and adjust it and look at this beauty we made damn wow look at that beauty come on look at that so you just go ahead and make your second leg which will be starting from this side so this is what we have it's so beautiful very very easy to make once you have your sole ready you just need to make this too and which is very very easy to make and this is it in aqua blue this is the second leg for the aqua blue so thank you so much for staying by to this very time i really appreciate um 
the next tutorial i don't know which one i'll be dropping next but trust me i'm going to drop another banger yeah so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be no you will know when i you'll be notified when i drop a new tutorial thank you so much take care bye